Yo, I hope you are feeling amazing. I am having a hilarious time here in part four of episode five of Tablet Talks, where we are dissecting, <coughs> decolonizing, decoding, and deciphering and dissecting. This whole text called Prime Creator, the Divine Mother, where this man named Jace details a story about how Ayas Thoth possessed him when he was a child and then materialized into Earth by creating some like technological connection with his body. And then by saving his body when it was about to die, I let him live. And that's what we're basically about to read here, where this is his more detailed account of how I possessed his body and how I as Thoth the spirit, which is of course inherently a complete um, misunderstanding of who Thoth is and what the spirit is, came and made a connection with him. So we just spent <laughs> these last parts <laughs> of episode five reading about the hilarious sci-fi details, um, the hilarious unpunctuated sci-fi details as to how I possessed this boy. And we're about to keep going here. Man, it's just, this is comedy. Um, so the point of Tablet Talks, as we know, when we're decolonizing, when we're decoding, when we are deciphering my Emerald Tablets and any texts that are claiming to be me, because that's basically what Tablet Talks is also an extension as, um, where there's a lot of texts out there that aren't directly saying it is my Emerald Tablets uh, decoded or my Emerald Tablets um, translated. But it'll be stories like this, where a white man from Europe <laughs> can act like he's me, an indigenous spirit, who then is able <laughs> to help others connect with me. And really it's just based on him connecting with the government. And we're just trying to figure out, is this something that he's making up to get connected in the world? Or is he possessed by some entity that has made him think that he's Thoth? Like, I'm not sure how deep this uh, Jace Charles man believes that he's me. And, of course, it's all backed up by the all one um, source stuff. And him saying, like, I am Thoth, you are me, we're all a reflection of each other. And just an inherent, complete misunderstanding of Thoth. Because Thoth would never be all one like that. The point of thought is that it's separation. So Thoth already right there, the wisdom is that we are all a product of our thoughts and our thoughts are individual. So your thought, the moment you're trying to be like, oh yeah, we're all one, we're all like the same thing. That's a desire. So there's a, there is the desire to be an individual. That's what we're talking about men. And then the desire to be a collective. That's what we're talking about women. So it seems like this Jace Charles man desires to be part of the collective so much that he wants to lie to the world, make up this whole story about how he got possessed by me, and now he's operating in the world as me. So we've already, yeah, just covered how infinite communication is possible. Anyone can be an imposter for anyone. I can start making multiple social media pages where I masquerade as certain celebrities and perhaps start to build up some sort of energy around that. So clearly this man's going to far lengths to make himself appear as Thoth. Let's see. I am Thoth. All right, that's a great way to start. Here it is. I am Thoth, the spirit of the human body. So that's retarded. <laughs> right off the bat, that doesn't even... That's so bad. <laughs> the spirit of the human body, known as Jace J. Charles. See, Thoth is 
a name that represents my soul. And my soul is my individual infinite perspective of the universe. So even that is still not the spirit. This is inherently lost. Like it doesn't know what Thoth is. It can only, what colonizers or consumers can only do, uh, especially when they don't have their own imagination to create their own thing, is perceive your imagination as their own. So then it's limited by theirs. So he immediately doesn't know the truth. He doesn't know who Thoth truly is or anything really um, about spirituality, just from the fact that he believes that Thoth is the spirit when the spirit is nothing. So he doesn't even have the intelligence because he's so focused on colonizing my creation, on claiming my creation as his own so he can ride that clout and get connected in that way. So focused on it that he wants to basically just ignore the fact of who I am and what Thoth is about. He's so focused on taking something that isn't his that he needs to make himself believe that that thing is, of, is itself the spirit and inside of him and that he's that. And it's just the convincing thing. And again, how much of this, when we're dealing with uh, people who want to convince others, someone who's really good at convincing others convinces themselves first. So this is where we get just stories and celebrities. You get acting, right? This is Hollywood. So the point of being an actor is that you're a professional liar. You prepare um, your emotional and physical manipulation behind closed doors so that when you present it for the world people think it's real like that is the energy that the white supremacist european freemasonic government treasures the most because that's the energy they use to take over the united states so this is why teachers get paid way less <laughs> than actors because lying is way more profitable than educating and this is what we clearly see with Jace Charles playing me in this life, where lying is profitable for him. And he's not bringing anything new to the creation of Thoth or just anything new. Like, again, this is the point of a colonizer or a consumer versus a creator. There's, yeah, creators, consumers, and colonizers. All right, so everyone's a consumer. A colonizer goes out of their way to consume other people's creations. And then that's where they steal other people's creations. That's a colonizer. A colonizer takes someone else's creation and then they make all their creations only around making people believe that that initial creation, which they did not create, is theirs. And that's how we get, you know, just any individuals piggybacking off of any religion. So. Anytime someone says that they're Jesus or any idea that they literally did not make up, it's basically that. Where they're using their individuality to fit into someone else's worldview, and then really they would be doing that because they desire to be connected to what that religion has already done. So this man desires to be connected so hard to everything I've already done in the world that he has this whole story uh, about how I use interdimensional technology to leap through time into the worst earth period ever so I could come possess him right in the moment where he was going to die in a house fire and then become him and let him become me. And it's like I wasn't him, but then I was his higher self. And Jace is trying to say that like Thoth was simultaneously not a part of his life at all until he was 13. But then once Thoth possessed him, became his higher self. And he had, Jace had to realize that Thoth was always his higher self. When that wasn't the story, bro. You just said that you were not related with Thoth at all until like 13. That was the age of Jason. And then B Jason became Jace when Thoth possessed him. So whatever. I am Thoth, the spirit of the human body known as Jace J. Charles. Comedy. I am not born like most upon the planet. I took ownership of this body in January 1982 when the young boy died from the fire it involved him in.
Like, see, I as Thoth would never desire to be all one so hard that I just possess someone else's body or like take over someone else's creation in any way. See, like this is the colonizer mentality. Like it just shows that this is the projection perception thing forever. The imagination of the spirits involved here, they can't imagine the spirit being nothing and creating things from that. No, they need to colonize and put all their imagination towards colonizing, towards creating logical concepts, logical lies about how what this spirit created is actually them and they are this creation. When if you were to actually talk to that creation, it would be like, oh yeah, I know I am the creator just bringing life to my creation right now. So no big deal. I write most of the story in Prime Creator Divine Mother book. To describe how I arrived is a walk-in, which means as the old spirit was departing, I walked in as a new art owner. Yes, yeah, so no, like that's, everything's made up. So this is knowledge, everything is made up. So this is all gonna be knowledge of like how he's making things up to manipulate people to believe things. And it's just gonna show his idea of what he's doing. He's stealing my concepts. He feels like he can walk in to something that he didn't create. Like he can just come into a reality and possess something because he feels like he's supposed to be the hero and that's his perception of this creation, that it's a hero figure. And then he wants to do that as well. So that's very feminine where that spirit wants to be with the woman, wants to be with the cosmic so much that it's going to colonize a creation of someone who is an advocate for protecting the divine feminine and just wisdom in general and communicating about that and make himself appear like he is this. I have spoken much of what I spoke here many times. I will sugarcoat nothing. I will say it just as my brother spoke it 2000 years ago, upfront and on point as even. I spoke the same many thousands of years before my brother came in. You are not reading speculation or hearsay. You're reading our knowing, our truth, not as a human body as Thoth, the one who did not lose the memory at birth like others. Birth is not our experience on earth. Who is God? See, like, this is just so disjointed. This is so weird. You and everyone you know and see in life, every object, plant, animal, everything in the entire existence of known comprehension, that is the one you call God. See, like, wrong immediately wrong the moment he says everything in the entire existence of known comprehension god the point of god is that it is infinity and infinity is spirit infinity can't be known the moment we create something we create a knowing and knowing is made up so this is the point of us as spirits making multiple bodies and just infinite bodies to express our infinite individuality and we know who we are based on how we project into these bodies. We feel like grounding our nothingness inside of. You feel me? So zero to two to four. And it's all there. And it's like, yeah, this guy is not anywhere near that awareness, <laughs> of course. Hence why everything he's releasing in my name is literally just this made up science fiction. I'm a government agent from Alcyon. Hear me roar type stuff. So, and yeah, he doesn't know who God is. So, wrong. God is you as a spirit. So, your God, the only God that you need to be concerned with is your zero. Your individual infinite space inside of infinity. And that's where you're going to learn way more about you when you tap into your individual space and create from that space and believe in that space, you'll make your own God and realize who you are as a God and create your whole own spot in the universe because we're all just creating. We're all expressing our individuality. And then it's easy for colonizers who want to consume creators to make them believe that their creations are actually their own. That's where we get white supremacy doing their best to make indigenous peoples believe that 
they, it was actually the U.S. that had democracy when literally it was Native Americans that had to essentially force democracy onto the British peoples so that they would be safe from the French because the indigenous peoples, Canasatego, did not want to see the Europeans kill each other. This is how compassionate the indigenous peoples were. The Europeans want to kill the Native Americans so much that they can't agree about it, so they need to kill each other. And the Native Americans want to kill the Europeans so much that they consistently kept giving them all of their tools just so Europeans could use them against them to kill them. No God is an energy force, not a singular object, as everything is God. Nothing is God. It's like, this is weirdly like there, but not. And so it's not actually like everything is not God. like, I get what he's trying to say, but only because I'm making it work. Yet the main energy of God's essence is feminine. Meaning, caring, loving, nurturing, compassionate, peaceful, harmonious, as so on. Many in your reality have and still know this truth. Well, yeah, that's facts. So the all one, the womb of creation, a God is overall feminine because a spirit can only create when it connects with itself. So a spirit that doesn't connect, connect with itself is more, way more masculine, whereas a spirit that connects with itself self is feminine so if you don't connect with yourself you're expressing individuality and then if you do connect with yourself you're getting into collective energy so life is only made when individuals come together for the collective and then it's like we naturally look like individuals when we're expressing ourselves together because if we didn't choose to come together we wouldn't possibly be able to interact in the first place so that's the point of spirits taking their fire to create water so that we can actually cool down and then ignite our fire into the water, which will then create a star that we can then use as a vehicle um, because that's the air, the chi, which settles down into the true stable body we can practicalize, stabilize our awareness into. That is why over centuries we have seen the burning of witches the belittling, the belittling of the female sexes and the woman's role pushed down as not the dominant force of creation. Instead, man is placed in this position, hence the reason of a male god of religions. This is written so poorly. Like it literally does sound like if I just listen to myself speaking, like I'm having a stroke at any given moment, I'm reading this book. That's just where I'm also wondering, like, is he just some kind of public sacrifice to make me look like a fool and make people not actually take spirituality seriously? Because now when they look into Thoth, there's this Jace Charles guy on Amazon talking about being ruled by Alcyon Law and how he possessed some boy at the age of 13 to come in and save the planet. And it's like, you're saving the planet? Are, like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, like every everything I'm reading, you're not helping people. It's all literally about making everything that I've done about you. Like you want to take everything that I've done and make it about you. And then all you are is a colonizer who's adding all this extra invader technology stuff, a whole perspective of how you can't create life. So Thoth can't create life. And Thoth is a spirit. You're so lost. I feel for you, dude. It's just, this is not okay to be lying and colonizing and deceiving in this way. But it's clearly like you care. So that's where I can only figure, uh, I don't know. There's so many options, everyone. This person can very well be possessed by an entity that's made them think that they're Thoth based on their ignorance of what a spirit truly is. So because this person doesn't know that they already are a spirit because they are nothing being something, then something else can, that is a spirit using that something can make them believe that this something is the spirit and then that they've actually found themselves when they get possessed by this something because they really don't love themselves and they need to get colonized by another person's creation 
in order to connect with the universe. And that's how Jace Charles has found his place using my name and connecting with the universe by being like, oh yes, we must uphold Thoth's values, which is my values. But like, he can only speak from a colonizer perspective. So it's like Thoth's values and just focusing on like, I am Thoth. <laughs> Sad. But of course, there's gonna be a lot of weaponized truth in here. Those that knew also knew about the power of female menstrual blood. Men throughout the centuries have tried to mimic this God-forced energy of the woman by killing for blood, taught the taking of blood, made them godlike. This is all false. They have tricked the masculine to believe anger, aggression, and hate was power. Instead, this shows weakness and loss of power on their part. So, when a man kills, harm another, he is harming the God harms himself. Jeez, what does that say? Um, like, yo, most people encounter challenges in life, yet less and less do not see the reason for challenges, which is a direct link to one's words and thoughts occurring daily in secret inside the mind. The harmful deed of any kind shall return upon another. It returns, you know it, as what goes around comes around. Much not see the link between their own deeds and the deeds done unto them, which are the same, different circumstance, same direct meaning of why it happened. When a man comes from a place of peace and compassion like the feminine, the man has gained the true divine power. Do we die? No, an illusion of the mind. So why do we experience loss? Belief is a powerful thing, and since the day you were born, they taught you about death, taught you to go to school, find a mate, gets married, settle down and prepare for old age, meaning death. And it's like, this is all just like true. So clearly like, is this a guy that just resonates with this? And, you know, he opened to us, he's just trying to find his place. A lot of people like to use my name of Chase to find their place. So here's Jace. Fulfilling the space of being white though. This is, yeah, silly. So what happens to those we experience as die? Like, how is this, this feels simultaneous, like he's supposed to be older than me. Like, I'm 23, and he's supposed to be older than that, for sure. Like, at least 30. And he's writing, like, a computer who's been programmed by a five-year-old. Literally. Like, we've seen how he had no punctuation, no quotation marks throughout any of the dialogue in this book so far. How? Like, that's just where, are you actually trying to make me look like a fool? Like, is this some kind of weird thing to discredit everything? Or is like, is it supposed to be cryptic? Is it supposed to be like mysterious? Is this his idea of adding his mystery? Like, this is his mystery. Like, okay, let me add my mystery to Thoth. So Thoth is a spirit and he possessed me so that I can be who I truly am. And then here's everything about who I truly am. This Alcyon Law and all this stuff. Doing great, living a life, experience, different time, or the same time as you. Here or in another parallel earth, or even a new dimension, the possibilities are endless. And so is life, and your existence has no ending. Nor did it ever have a beginning. Okay. Similar to Star Trek, Hollow Deck is your life. Whoa. Um, so not holodeck is your life. It's just that we as spirits use light to express ourselves. And that then naturally looks like a holographic universe because we're just doing that all the time. Um, so that's where we get a three tiered system of nothingness going into darkness, then going into light. So that light, everything we can see is informed by what we can't see which is the true representation of our spirit connecting with itself. So light is separation and darkness is connection in that way. Is anyone ever punished for any deeds they may or may not do in life? And is the devil real? No and no. The energy of God is feminine, 
recap above on those qualities. So this is, it's wrong though. Like it's really weird to like go back and forth because the desire to create is masculine. The possibility of creation is feminine. Actual creation is going to be the air. It's going to be the balance of uniting fire and water. So all water is created from desire, from fire. So all these, all this fire has to cool down together to create water, which then allows all this separate fire to connect with each other inside of one body of water, which is then we, where we get the all is one thing because it's all one vibe but you are creating this vibe with other spirits so that you can generate your own vibe and level up your soul and actually ascend. It's not about getting stuck in all oneness and being in one body of water forever, unless that's what you desire and hey, you know, you're prerogative. So it's just God is feminine because like the spirit is overall feminine but the spirit's three like because this is where yeah he's like he's saying that everything uh, he's wrong but right and it's like it's just it's still wrong though because he's not teaching it like Thoth should or Tehuti should or Hermes should or Chase should at all he's teaching it like Jace where he's just colonizing and doing flowery stuff uh that's like it's using truth to make his case and make himself appear like something, but it's actually not true because it's not actually balanced or spiritual. <laughs> so just know God is not feminine. All right. The possibility of creation is feminine. All right. So this is why the womb is the woman. She is the container for the thought to enter and then for life to be made. So the possibility of creation is feminine. The desire to create the fire is masculine. The going external, the projecting out of individuality. So it takes a collective to receive an individual for life to be made. So that's the point of a woman receiving a man to then create a child and how we create life. So with him saying, God's everything you see, that would be air. And then the air is what water looks like. So everything is feminine in that way, but it's feminine because we all desire to bring our feminine together. So it's just a projection of how this man desires to be all one so much that he is blinded by that desire. And then perhaps possessed by a spirit who has made him believe that he is Thoth and that we're all Thoth because it's all one. And then that's where he's lost on Swords consciousness in a way that he can push it to be uh, some believable sci-fi novel stuff. That makes me look like a, a schizophrenic writer <laughs> who never once learned or just went to school at all, like never actually just learned punctuation or any grammatical stuff. So it's like his whole point of possessing Jace is that he's saying he came into the world to learn, but he doesn't even know how to write. The devil is just a metaphor for a negative mindset. Okay, that's true, the devil is the mind. So the devil is a mind working against itself. Um, so that's like the devil is when you don't have a good relationship with your feminine. He's not about to say it like that, but that's what it is. Because your feminine is your feelings. So your devil or your demon is what balances out your desire or like what you want. So any like demons or devils you have is generally just going to be something. If you sit down with yourself, you're labeling those as demons or devils because they oppose your desire. And then that's where you would have to learn that your desire is what makes you demonic in a collective space. And it's all balance then and it's a two-way street the devil is a made-up story taught for centuries to control people via the means of fear the devil or evil is inside every human being a negative thought idea or action is a devil a good deed is a god the battle of good and evil is not occurring outside you instead it is 
is now occurring outside you. Instead, it is going on inside every human being on the planet in every choice they make. The devil is just a metaphor for a negative mindset. You're out of alignment. That's okay. Now you know. Just choose again and be positive. You can't stop this process. It's natural and designed this way. Your work to balance with plenty of good. No religion has a place to comment on this wisdom. These words come directly from prime creator to me to you. See, like the fact that he, as Thoth, is claiming to be a spirit and then also is created by a prime creator, this is infinite lostness. This is so sad. So sad. All religions can continue if they wish spreading false information on prime creator. You are the prime creator. Like, oh my, like, that's so funny being like all these religions spreading all this false information on the prime creator. And it's like, dude, what? You're, you're so lost. <laughs> Just be an infinite individual. You're so lost in colonizing my concept that you need to fight for the entity that is allowing you to feel like you are the thing that you're colonizing or something is happening with you and this prime creator. And it's like, if it's not you, then you're being colonized. Hence why you're colonizing because you can only do to others what's being done to you. This is why it's so important to work for yourself. If you don't work for yourself, then you can't work for others. So white people can only enslave black people because they're enslaved by the concept of money from other spirits who have used the idea of destroying lands and allowing them to be free through genocide to manipulate people who resonate with that energy. And that's how North and South and Central America was created. People who resonate with using the energy of genocide to get what they want using Jesus as that logical example. And then everyone can get lost in what Jesus means to them so they don't actually realize that it's really just a tool being used to eliminate Native Americans and steal spiritual systems meant for freedom, meant to encourage the liberation of individuals. Liberation is in the freedom of individuals. So, hence, yeah, all this stuff of prime creator and how no matter what we do, we need to make sure we're servant. Make, we need to make sure we're serving this other thing. And then that's where he can get off on feeling like he's higher and bigger than you because now he has to educate you and gets to educate you about your prime creator, about your heavenly father. Again, just more Christian stuff where if you're disconnected from your own spirit, someone who feels like they're connected to a spirit will be more than happy to convince you that you are actually a product of their spirit. More than happy. More than happy. And then they will weaponize all that emotion of like, don't you want to be part of a family <laughs> and be part of a collective and belong and blah, blah, just follow these rules. And then they drain your soul. No religion has a place to comment on this wisdom. These words come directly from prime creator to me, to you. See, it's like this weird hierarchy of detaching you from yourself. You're infinitely powerful. Like for someone to be like, hey, I'm infinite, I'm awesome, and I'm awesome because someone else made everything and I'm connected to them. So if you wanna be awesome, then make sure that you connect to me so I can get you connected to the super awesome person who's actually running the show. And that logical lostness only works on you if you are so disconnected from your individual ability to run your own show and be your own universe, be your own sustained solar system and just be a happy individual of yourself. All religions can continue if they wish spreading false of the yeah. Treat all how you would want treated. See, like that's disgusting and lost. I would never say that because I have the wisdom to know Projection is perception. We're going to keep hammering that in. Someone treating you the way that they want to be treated doesn't mean that they should treat you that way. So if white people want to be killed, then them killing black people doesn't mean that they should be treating black people that way. If you want to be killed, 
then don't go around killing people hoping that someone will kill you. Because that's really what spiritually it is. When like you see spirits who are going around killing people or infringing upon the consent of others in a, I was going to say a safe space, because that's what the universe is supposed to be, in a all one space, when we're all water together, when we're all connecting, and this spirit decides to, to disconnect everyone inside that connection, How did I just lose my place? That's so funny. Um, yeah, just spirits in general <laughs> desiring to connect so hard. There we go. That's right. Desiring to connect so hard that they disconnect because they can only treat others how they want to be treated and they don't treat themselves very well. So this is why toxically masculine society can only be like treat others the way you want to be treated and it's like well you hate yourself so you hate others that's why the british enslave their children to work on metal machines and then of course you're going to do even worse things to indigenous peoples that you then call black of course so no don't treat all how you would want to be treated treat others the way they want to be treated where's the wisdom dude like, get out of your fire desire how you would want to be treated. Treat them the same way. And it's like, so just because you want to be kissed doesn't mean they want to be kissed. Like, see, like, how this is toxically masculine lostness, that whole idea of treat others the way you want to be treated. That's literally a white dude or just a man in general of thoughts being like, okay, I have this much desire. I desire to feel this way. So I'm going to now treat them like that because that's what I was taught. I was taught that, hey, I want to be kissed by a woman, so I should just kiss women. But it's like that woman very well does not want to kiss you. And if you were listening to her speak, you would learn that she's probably even a lesbian. And then that's where guys can like get so lost in their desire that and even not that she's not interested in you. That's a much better example where guys can get lost in their desire of wanting girls to kiss them so much that they kiss girls who then are like, yeah, um, I'm not into you. Don't kiss me. Like that was wild. And they're like, what are you a lesbian or something? And if they are, then that guy didn't listen. And if they aren't, then that guy didn't listen because <laughs> it doesn't matter either way. He projected his desire to treat all how he would want to be treated. When really he needs to just love being alone then. Love your neighbor as yourself because they really are you. No, they aren't. They're not you. This is so lost. See, this is the mentality he has to be in to believe that he's me. <laughs> See, like we're not the same. We're all infinite individuals. We have to create situations that allow us to feel the same because that's the only way we can empathize and connect. That's the point, or else we're too different, dude. Come on, we're only different. We're only infinitely different. See our imaginations? You colonize things out of ignorance and I create things out of wisdom. And this is what it looks like. Be kind as much as possible. If an error occurs in a wrong deed, don't beat yourself up about it. Make right what you can even if it means making peace with only yourself and prime creator within you. Love all you meet, even in silence, and we shall love you in return. We. See, like he's saying, like, dude, this, d love is desire. Should you love everything? Yes. Love everything you meet, even in silence. That doesn't mean you should be projecting, like, really hard that love onto it. And love is... That's a whole thing, right, on love. We've done cosmic conversations on that, so. The ego is there to help you grow. Use it wisely. Ego is not something that's bad or wrong. It requires balance. If you want to live until you're, see like, he literally just spelled your Y-O-U-R. Come on, dude, this isn't thought. If you want to live until you're 500 years old, I suggest you begin at once to rid wrong beliefs and start speaking, feeling, and resonating from that place. 
If you find yourself involved in a disagreement, bless them until you feel at peace in doing so. You bless yourself at the same time. Use magic. Magic is real. You speak everything into your experience. Words are magic. I should know. Where do you think language came from? <laughs> this is so ugly. This is so ugly, Jace. Oh, I feel bad for you. Just like how you really, oh, that's so funny. That's so sad. Trying to slip that in. Words are magic. I should know. Where do you think language came from? Me, I made language. Dude, chill, chill, chill. We made like, like. Teamwork truly makes a dream work. See, like, I don't like that in white supremacy. Um, and it just shows how obsessed they are with making things prime creators, uh, where I'm the one who's getting credit for all these technologies that, hey, look, am I the architect? Am I the one who like puts the blueprints together and like gets spirits together doing all that Virgo work and then the Taurus sun, the Gemini shit? Yes. Do I do that alone? Absolutely no way in no. Like, no, can't. What are you talking about, dude? Like, other people invent language too. I can be accredited for the creation of language, like, in a major way. But if you talk to me, I'm going to let you know that this is something natural, that we all create language. That language is just another form of our spirit externalizing itself so that we can all relate in a more grounded way. Because if we didn't have language, if we didn't use all of our infinite individuality to then build similar enough relationships with these words to then be able to string them in certain uh, sentences and just certain orders in order, <laughs> in certain denominations, orders, these are the words coming to my mind so that we can spell out like this magic stuff we're spelling how we feel, so then we can communicate and build even greater structures from there. So as these smaller structures allow us to communicate our soul structure, our feeling, and then it's all just externalization and internalization and us doing this macro micro in like all these different facets and ways. I'm not about to be all like, yeah, I invent language, like see, like I would talk about it like that. So it just shows again, a colonizer mindset trying to slip in like, oh, hey, I, I created, where do you think language came from? Chill, dude. Like, you're definitely not speaking like you are even close to knowing how grammar works in a language. Like, you're not even close, actually. Like, this, again, really feels like I am having a stroke reading most of this. When another does a deed and error against you, find peace within you and love them. This will free you. If you respond with a counter deed, this shall not free you. Another way to say it is you cannot fight fire with fire. I've said we're about fighting fire with fire. Fight fire with fire. What are you talking about? And fire is just a uh, separation. It's just a vision. So when someone's vision seems to impede upon your vision, uh, create a bigger vision. Final words. You understand that everyone in life is right and correct based only on their perception. It does not make it true for others. Perception occurs through experience, and as each experience in life is unique to each spirit here, the truth will appear different, yet it's still true. See, now this is weaponized truth, but the fact that he doesn't even know that Thoth is not the spirit, he doesn't know what a spirit is. Find a place to accept in all you meet. Clashing against another truth serves no purpose. This causes challenges in your own life experience. If you wish to experience, then continue. You will not be wrong in any choice you make. UFOs, aliens, the unexplained. The mysteries of the sky and does live life outside of our own reality. Yes and no. Yes, they exist out there, always have. No, because they also exist right here on Earth and have done for a very long time. Movies have led you to believe they look weird or even scary looking. This enforces fear. Many look just like you. 
you wouldn't even realize if you were standing next to one on a bus or sat next to in a cafe. In the last 50 years, an onslaught of beings poured into Earth, even more so now. <clears throat> Turning into Earth means coming in through the birth process. We do not allow beings to mess with your free will. So, why didn't you come through the birth process? Like, what happened? So, coming into Earth means coming through the birth process, but, oh, I felt the spirit. I get to possess children who are about to die in house fires. <laughs> Cause I'm above the law, like, bro. Coming through the birth process on the way to bypass free will. Then you have walk-ins like myself who agree to take over the body. You have those who never left the earth, hidden away for longer than you cannot, than you can count in a year, living at the core of the earth. Not to mention others not known at present. Why many? You know yourself the reason your planet is in trouble, out of control. You're losing your way. The mother has sent in her very best to help you, disguised as you, so it's not alarm you. This evolutionary process has been going on a long time. Most are living in groups within the spiritual communities, not religious. Both words confuse. They are not the same. Spirit says the power is you. <laughs> Religion states that the power is outside of you and some unknown entity in the sky, the giving away of your power. But this is what you're saying with the Prime Creator stuff, dude. This is, logic is wild. And so he's trying to like bridge like the spirit and religion thing. Like, hey, and it's important for you to know, just like all the other tablets with like the source, this, the outside entity, just truly remember that it's inside of you. <laughs> and like, that's like the new wave manipulation where it's like, hey, <clears throat> There's not all these gods that are greater than you outside of you. The God that's greater than you outside of you is just a representation of how this greater God is creating all of us. And it's important for you to remember that and use your infinite individual spirit to tap into how we're telling you what the spirit is. <laughs> Wild. Why many you know yourself the reason your planet is in trouble out of control. You're losing your way. The mother is sent in her very best to help you, right? We can find these beings who have arrived to help the planet in every industry on the planet. This would be an inside job. The very places that are causing harm are being changed as we speak slowly yet precisely. All one sentence. <sighs> wow. You can understand what we write here or even refuse to understand. It makes no difference nor changes the truth. It does not require approval. Jesus once spoke the truth in terms his era could understand. I speak to you from this era, from a position you too can understand. Oh man, Under yo, can we understand it? Can we really? Can we really understand this dude? We can really? Can we really? Can we really? Jesus once told you you were God. When he said, I and my father are one, the kingdom of heaven is within man. Follow me, I am the way. Meaning, do as I do, act as I do. AKA, be a spiritual individual and fast. Because fasting is you not eating what the world is telling you to eat. And then that's where your spirit will act in a way more free way to change things around in your life. And then you get synchronicities. I am Thoth, the firstborn Atlantean. Self-created, self-empowered God of Atlantis returns to remind you of who you truly are. Weaponized truth, like it makes no sense. How are you going to say that you are part of the prime creator, yet say that you're self-created? And then, uh, and the point is, if I'm self-created, that's the ultimate wisdom that we all create ourselves. It's just that most people feel so badly about their imagination. And I will say most, most people feel so badly about their imagination that they would rather feel like someone else created them. And that's where we get endless religions. Religion will never go away. The details of what a religion is will never go away. Spirits will always want to unite under an idea that they didn't make. Cause that's very much the feminine energy that powers the universe powers ideas.
spirits have to come together and use their collective feelings to believe in an idea outside of themselves and purposefully restrict their freedom into a limited thing so that they can relate together. And then on relating in that limited thing, they start to become more free again, uh, and, but they're becoming free in the way they desire because they're actually getting to connect with other individual spirits based on the bodies and life experiences that they're having in you know day-to-day -day basis. So it's just like wild, so silly and wrong. Um, self-created, self-empowered, but then talking about prime creator right after that in the fem like, oh, dude, you're contradicting. You, you, uh, oh, ah! All right, all right. Ran under the guidance of prime creator directly. What happened? What? What happened to being self-created and self-empowered? So you're self-empowered, but everything you wrote is under the guidance of prime creator. Prime creator needs to learn grammar and punctuation then, because. This was rough. Peace be with you. Ellipses. Wow. This was... Man. Review this book on Amazon. Alright, dude. So, this has been Jace Charles Thos text about how I possessed the little boy and came into earth to save everybody and how really this is a mission like a whole sci-fi mission that's what we read in the first part <laughs> a whole science fiction novel about the ultimate divine feminine that actually creates everything which is still false <laughs> so it just shows his lostness and how he feels like he can colonize Thoth because he doesn't want to be in his own imagination that much. And that's how he's connecting with the universe. And it appears, you know, it's like high vibrational because then he like, as a woman probably wants to protect children or whatever. <laughs> and like just basic things like that, where it's like, yeah, dude, but you're not actually wise. <laughs> like this is still you being lost in emotion. And then it's easy for, I guess, perhaps a higher entity who cares enough about being alone to weaponize my name and then manipulate him to think that he's me or is he just actually weaponizing my stuff purposefully we can't really know this is the thing even if we talk to him the fact that he would get to see this video and formulate all of his ideas of how he should react until finally like putting it forward for anyone to possibly see um this is the thing of life you can truly know you can truly never know you can only know yourself you can truly never know anyone but yourself you can never know anyone but yourself you can only know how you feel and what you see based on what people create from their invisible space so fire and water this is our invisible realm this is our astral realm where it's feeling is way more feeling than seeing. Seeing is the air and earth. Seeing is the practicalization, the stabilization of feeling. And this is all spirit. So that's why spirit is a circle. And then fire, water, air, and earth are going to be the four, the elements, the box that then creates the five cycle reality. Because then that fifth thing is spirit. So this is just like truly lost. It shows that he's lost in uh, desiring to connect with the universe and people want to connect with the universe so hard that they will steal other people's ideas and create whole science fiction novels or just stories about how they got possessed by this idea to really show that they want to possess other people's ideas. And that's what he's doing. He's possessing Thoth and he's stealing concepts so that he can then feel like he has basically been stolen from his space and doesn't feel like he's alone. So this is him running away from being alone that hard. That then is coming into Prime Creator and all this story of Prime Creator is ultimately a woman. And I was sent here by a woman, and interdimensional stuff. Just everything we read about like, him entering the Jace. Like, yeah, that's so wild. This is so lost. So.
That's why <laughs> we are just getting in here. All right, decolonizing, decoding, and deciphering all of these texts that people have been writing in my name and using to trap other people's minds, gain clout, level up, get connected, fulfill whatever desires they have. This is him fulfilling his desire to be all one in the ultimately toxically masculine way possible of stealing another individual's idea and then colonizing and lying to everyone else about what that is and creating all this fiction around it just so that then he can feel good about his place. So this is um, Lucifer in general, like, and not saying it is Lucifer, but like the idea of using light to show people what they want so you can take things from them is Luciferian in concept. So Lucifer is all about light and love. So Lucifer isn't negative in and of itself. The point is that light and love feel positive, although they actually look ne negative, really. Um, love definitely feels positive, but it looks negative because love is desire. So true love is freedom. That's desirelessness. That's positive. Love, as we know it, is desire, which is then where we get families projecting their love for each other onto everyone or whatever. And then people create hell for each other. And now we're doing bad things to each other as humans because we love each other so much. And that love is just us being lost in our desire of how we relate to one another. So then that's where you get men who like, once a woman stops fulfilling the desire of how they relate with them, then they stop loving them. Because they just, yeah, they didn't fulfill their desire anymore. So this is how we learn, like, love is just desire. So it's important as a spirit to love from a desireless place. That's true God mode. That's what it means to truly love everything and everyone, no matter who or what it's doing. And know that it's doing its perfect role in the universe. When you know that from a desireless place, everything is freedom. So you just love that. You love that everyone can be free. And that's true spirit. You desire desirelessness for everyone. So then when everyone desires and everyone's lost in desire, that is you being an ultimate individual. And then that's where you can't force anyone to be something that they're not. So it then just be important for you to put yourself into uh, situations where you're full of desire so that you can then level up and become desireless. And the people that are connected with you in those situations will level up based on how they can relate with what you're doing. And this is the balance of us as spirits. We can't force ourselves to change. So we just create situations with other spirits who can inspire us to change and inspire us to become more of who we feel like we truly are when we're alone. Because that's the point of us, all of us being alone. We all have our infinite individual dreams he has this dude has his own individuality his own imagination that's nothing to do with mine it's just that he doesn't feel nearly as good about his imagination as he does about mine so he desires to use all of his imagination to steal mine to colonize mine and then take over everyone else's idea of who i am based on how he colonized my imagination so this has been Tyler Talks, episode five. I will see you. Big peace. Out and in and everywhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah.